purpose for this video is to introduce the feedback servo motor system. This is the feedback mechanical unit. I'll show you the components in just a minute. This is the feedback control unit, control panel, patch panel. The mechanical unit is connected to the control unit through the ribbon cable. The control panel is connected to the computer through the USB cable. And the system is powered by a power supply plus and minus 15 volts and 5 volts. Let's start on the back with, of the mechanical unit with the motor and the ribbon cable that connects the control unit to the mechanical unit and the power supply cables that supply power and the 360 degree potentiometer that measures the position of the output shaft. There are two shafts. Uh, one shaft is the primary shaft, the motor shaft, the one that you see turning. Connected to that shaft through a series of pulleys is a secondary shaft. The gear ratio is 32 to 1. The digital display shows the output shaft speed in revolutions per minute. To detect speed and position of both shafts there are a couple of features. The incremental encoder, the black bands that you see rotating are detected by the uh, uh, pickup sensor here and the speed is also measured directly with a tachometer. They call it a taco generator. The position of the output shaft is detected by the gray code. See the series of black and uh, uh, white marks. More on that later. Those are the major components of the mechanical unit. Now for the main components on the control unit. The diagram is a good place to start. Notice the DC motor, the TACO generator, the incremental encoder, the 32 to 1 gearbox um, ratio, the gray code encoder, the 360 degree potentiometer, a power amplifier is required to drive the motor. To make the motor turn without connecting any wires, we can use the zero adjust knob. By turning that knob clockwise, it'll turn at a certain speed. Turn it counterclockwise, the motor will go the other way. Normally, however, we turn this knob to the zero position until the motor stops. Uh, that's the typical starting point for all of the exercises. Adjusting the zero offset potentiometer on the power amplifier until the motor stops. The motor can be controlled by applying an input voltage to the power amplifier. There's a positive input channel, a negative input channel, makes the motor turn one way or the other. Plus and minus one volt is the typical control voltage to the power amplifier. That control voltage is generated several ways. One way is through the input potentiometer the picture of the input potentiometer is shown here. 
the actual input potentiometer is right here. It will turn almost 180 degrees either way from zero, and that will make a plus and minus uh, a negative one volt, two positive one volt signal show up there. This potentiometer will do the same thing. By turning this uh, plus one volt to negative one volt approximately will show up there. There are also function generators. A uh, sine wave signal will show up there. Um, square wave signal there. Triangle signal there. The frequency of those is adjusted with these two knobs. The output amplitude is adjusted with this potentiometer. And just by connecting jumpers from those points to the power amplifier input, the motor uh, speed and position is controlled. Here is a demonstration of the speed being controlled by the input potentiometer. We'll use a jumper wire to connect the input potentiometer to the power amplifier input and then control the speed by turning the input potentiometer. And a voltmeter can be used to monitor that voltage. And finally, a demonstration of automatic speed control. Let's use the sine wave function generator. We'll connect a wire from the sine wave function generator output to the output amplitude potentiometer. The frequency is adjusted here. The amplitude of the sine wave is adjusted here. We then connect another jumper from the output amplitude potentiometer to the power amplifier input. Adjust the amplitude. That's maximum amplitude. The sine wave signal can also be monitored with an oscilloscope.